Today we'll review the basics of how an airplane works, specifically going over the parts of an airplane and an airplane's basic control features. An airplane is comprised of five main components, the wings, fuselage, power plant, landing gear, and empennage. On the wings we have the ailerons on the outer part of the wing and flaps on the inner part of the wing. The power plant at the front of the aircraft houses the engine and propeller to give the airplane thrust while in flight. The empennage includes the vertical stabilizer and the rudder and the horizontal stabilizer and the elevator. The four forces acting on an airplane in flight are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. The ailerons are located on the outside parts of each wing and control the roll of the aircraft along the longitudinal axis. Turning the yoke to the left will deflect the left aileron up and the right aileron down, causing the airplane to bank to the left. Turning the yoke to the right will deflect the right aileron up and the left aileron down, causing the airplane to bank to the right. The elevator is located at the rear of the airplane, near the tail and horizontal stabilizer. Pulling the yoke back causes the elevator to deflect upward and the airplane to pitch up. Pushing the yoke forward causes the elevator to deflect down and the aircraft to pitch down. The rudder pedals control the yaw of the airplane along the vertical axis. The rudder is located at the tail of the airplane on the vertical stabilizer. Pushing the right rudder pedal forward causes the rudder to deflect to the right and the airplane to yaw to the right. Pushing the left rudder pedal forward causes the rudder to deflect to the left and the airplane to yaw and turn to the left. Flaps are located on the trailing edge on the inside part of each wing. Flaps increase lift and induce drag, which helps an airplane make steeper approaches without increasing airspeed when landing. Flaps accomplish two things when landing. The lift and drag that the wing produces is maximized when flaps are fully extended. This lowers the stall speed of the aircraft, which means you can land slower. Second, extended flaps produce more drag, which allows the pilot to fly a steeper descent angle to the runway. Next, let's talk about trim tabs. The most common installation on small aircraft is a single trim tab attached to the trailing edge of the aircraft. Most trim tabs are manually operated by a small vertically mounted control wheel, as shown. Trim tabs are located on the elevator and help to reduce control pressures when flying. For instance, rolling the control wheel up will relieve the control pressures of pushing the yoke forward when in a descent. Rolling the control wheel down will relieve the control pressures of pulling back on the yoke when in a climb. Please like and share this video if you found the information useful. Also. Don't forget to subscribe for more flight training and aviation related educational videos.